have a real opportunity here. Because the military population is so small, I mean, given the population of the United States overall, right, and the number of people who serve is so small, by having family members and um, you know, spouses and children and veterans go out and work side by side or volunteer side by side with you know, other volunteers or just other, you know, just civilians. You get an opportunity to tell the larger story of the military that's different from what you see in your general media, which only focuses on the fact that veterans are broken, they're PTSD, they're wounded, um, they've been dealing with war for, you know, 13 years, I mean, and then you have Vietnam vets and you have Korean vets and you have World War II and World War I. There's a sense that the military is only about fighting and wounds, and that's not true. I mean, at least for us in our um, experience, and I know a lot of people that we serve with have the same experience, there's humanitarian missions. There's research that is awesome, right? So I think because we've been exposed to so many different mission sets within the military of what our veteran has served in, and you've been, you know, experienced a bunch of different things, mission perspective-wise, by incorporating families and veterans into that, you can tell that story. And the story about the military becomes much broader, and it becomes a much more positive story than what you have, I think,